empty cup Just crack a smile and fill it up Fill it up Welcome to After the Final Pour. <laughs> I'm one of your hosts, Tony Gilbert. <laughs> Brought to you by the Malting Hour, joined always with Brandon Winninger. And we've got some fun friends with us. We just did the Krampus episode, and as tradition, it's followed for the last year. Now we're on year two of doing this, and I, yeah. we're going to keep doing this. We're just going to keep doing it. So. We have to do it after the final four with you guys, because Goddamn right. when you do a whole bunch of barrel-aged beers, which always blows my mind because there's five of us. And we did five beers, and we definitely, I mean, like, we basically it's drank one like, maybe like one. It's one each. It but sounds I like nothing. I feel like maybe I had a little bit more. I mean, oh, well, that's right. There was two different bourbons involved. I'm joined with, to my left, Trevor Rose Hamblin. And to his left, Matthew Moldauer. And to his left, Timothy Bryce. Thank you guys again for joining us. Um, Brandon, are we taking a sip of this? You you poured a mystery beer. Like, I don't know if anybody saw it. I didn't see it. I, I said that. I think Tim stole, finished his. I saw a little bit of, of Trevor's. <laughs> I was unaware uh, that we were doing story that is not yeah. going to be in the beginning of this. But I'm going to go back and listen <laughs> to it and maybe send it to you guys. So basically, folks, what happened was... No, don't, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> what happened was... We're eating these... That's cheese balls. Let's stuff. talk about stepdads real quick, you guys. No. My stepdad is 81 and is, has the same name as me. And the joke was that, that my mom married a guy who has the same name as me. You put the joke in there. Brandon, do we're going to take a sip of this? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, and then take... And like, guess what we're drinking? <laughs> Look, you're not going to be able to guess it. But Wait, I, I'm sorry. Can we back up? No, uh, what you no. I, I miss the whole, like, your stepdad. My stepdad being... has the same name as I do, and so the joke was when my mom married my stepdad that... That is some white shit. Anyway. That's some weird shit. Okay. So, cool. we are not guessing what this is. This was no, you your, can guess the style. Was this in your cellar? Uh, oh, yeah. was this in the fridge? This, this is, is, uh, this reminds I like me Tim, of how you just, wine. By the way, Tim, I just, I like how you just processed what I had just said. I mean, this is, yeah, every, Fair. every accent... Mm-hmm. Raisinated, 100%. Uh, controlled oxidation. Uh, I mean, is... on the nose, it's just uh, f- like uh, like dried fruit pie. I'm getting lots of raisin. There's a lots after... of raisin. What's the aftertaste? What's it? Is it because I had the cheese balls? What's the aftertaste in there? Are you guys got anything? Ooh, it's weird? dusty. Right? It's almost basementy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's been sitting in your basement for 16 years. No, there is something like it's dusty. Yeah, it's you're like not a... wrong. There's Everything like a musk. Fresh... Everything up there, the, the, the aroma, oh. the taste is very no, good. It's, it's like taking black pepper and crushing it like directly on top of the liquid, and then you drink it, and then the spice continues. Like it's like black pepper. There yeah. you go. Because it's not but like it's not, not like oxidation. Dry black pepper, right? And it's like, not like oxidation either. Like there's not like a weird. I don't know if it's good. <laughs> I'm not saying it's good. No, no. But I'm saying it's no, not, no, no. I I, I'm, I'm actually gonna disagree with you and say that there is definitely oxidation in there. So. I should have gone sixteen year old. I should have my good instinct when I was saying there's not oxidation, but there actually I did think there was oxidation. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Damn. And tannin. Just like, like how my mom. Wine sh- tannin. Yeah. Just, just like how my mom should have married someone that has the same name, uh, same name Jesus as her son. Jesus Christ, dude. Correct. Why do you get to throw in stuff like that? Because it's weird. Get off your, get awesome. off your boat. And sail away. <laughs> it's lots. Right. Right. So I will no, say. I will <laughs> say. I, 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 I believe there is some oxidation in this beer. Obviously. Brandon, there's no oxidation. What the hell? Totally fresh. It's totally fresh. This beer was brewed yesterday. No, uh, this brew uh, beer is from J W Lee's. Uh, it's a it. Harvest Ale from yeah. 2007. Jesus Christ! Wow, is it? It's a Harvest. Oh seven. Yeah, it's, but it's classified. Right, as that Island. is outstanding for 07. Actually, yeah, with how like. I said 16 years. No, 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 I know, but like... <laughs> math, folks. You're asking Tim to do math after Krampus? Why are trying to do that, man? Oh, I'm not even pretending math to do math. Krampus but math. I will say that that is... <laughs> it was a 16-year-old beer. That's for a 16-year-old beer. The palate reads uh, like raisins followed by pink peppercorns. Like the spiciness that yep. I'm getting on my yep. tongue is like that numbing pink peppercorn... I wonder if that's like aged hops. What the fuck is that? What's going? Is that barrel? Tape yeah, I don't know. Coming through over there? Just a straight up barley wine, not a barrel aged barley wine at all. No, it has to be barrel aged. It, it doesn't say. Uh, oh, it right. does say in the bottle. Uh, the the fully fermented strong ale yep. has been brewed by J W Lees as a celebration of the brewer's art. Uh, Harvest ale oh, can be a or can be enjoyed now or late. Uh, blah, 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 blah. 
Drink like a fine wine in years to come. I don't disagree with that, actually. It's not... Yeah. It's definitely not... It's a- actually kind of outstanding for a 17-year-old beer. Like, that's... 16. Kind of silly. But so, like, Whatever. Well, 16-year-old it, 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 beer. More... Who knows when it was probably actually brewed. Like, you know... Does anybody want to Ritz while we're talking about this? Tony does. I do. <laughs> that's um, that's that's I believe cool. that's a lovely beer. Yeah, it is... I, Honestly, like this eleven and a half. Where's this, been, where's this been, Brandon? Has this always been in your collection? Nope. No, I got it like a year or two ago. Okay, it's one of the few ones I don't think I've ever seen because I feel like I've seen all of the beers that you oh. had. And, uh, weird, I will say it's surprisingly lovely. I mean, uh, I weird side by side though. After drinking like the maple syrup Krampus, is that like a lot of the vibes are kind of lining up? Oh, also, I think I know why it's kind of gritty on the tongue. Oh, oh yeah. You got some sediment? Yeah. yeah. Got yeah I got sediment too. Grip. I did not. Oh, yeah. oh good. Well, I feel so good because I got clean. I got so clean PSA forward. for everyone, you can find this at a lot of different places. Um, you. My friends and I actually did a vertical of like a 2007, 9, 11, and like 12 last year. Did you say 9, 11? Of the same. Not cool. Never forget. Not on. cool, man. Never forget. Not cool, man. <laughs> Grow up. It wasn't. <laughs> Never forget. <laughs> It wasn't cool. <laughs> You're right, Tony. It wasn't cool. <laughs> That's like Clark and I. I know about 9 11. It was not cool. That's like Clark and I were in Michigan. We were walking to a brewery because you can be outside. And it said, alcohol oh, rules. Man. And then there was a whole bunch of rules. And then Clark just ready goes, alcohol rules. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Uh, Matthew, what were you saying? Something about 9-11. <laughs> Our collaboration is going to be called Something About 9-11. Oh, fuck. This has now become the worst after the final four ever. Did well, I tell you about my, my mom? Who, my stepdad, who my stepdad's name? Can we stop talking about parents? And then, I don't really what is it? What is it about us where we get together, we drink a bunch of booze, and all of us are like, let's talk about our parents or, like, or politics? <laughs> no, I don't want to talk about my parents. Trevor, I, okay. was, I said it in the Krampus episode, I don't have to go to therapy this month. It's okay. You know, we're, we're all good. We, we covered that. <sighs> Me and Matthew hugged about having quadriplegic stepfathers. We found out Tim has a weird arm. Like, yep. this is a crazy <laughs> time. I missed the whole thing about Tim's weird arm because I was over there Look taking at his pictures arms, of dude. They got a weird arm. Nothing looks weird about Tim's arms from here. It doesn't. He He's not even told us ever about his weird arm. That's awesome. And we it's realized true. that on what this you episode. Tim? Guess what? No one works harder than Tim, though. Tim fucking doesn't... You would never let you know that he is a weird That's why his left arm so big. What's but I do have a weird arm. <laughs> Real quick, what's the name of this beer, Brandon? Beer. Harvest Ale. Harvest Ale. How, what do you guys think when you think about harvest? What's the first word? One word that comes to your head for harvest? Pumpkins. Pumpkin. Corn. What else? Slaves. Slaves? Did you say swaves? Slaves. Okay. God, not this is wow. Jesus Christ. Wow. Trevor is not racist. <laughs> I'm not racist. I'm just saying, like, you know. I How did not think America's fucked Slaves and murders. I mean, I, I, I thought wrong. farmers, he's maybe? Okay, let's but, go. Yeah. Farmers? No, uh, harvest would be, like, corn, pumpkins, things like that. Cut out the slave stuff. Matthew, what are you thinking about uh, when you, harvest comes to your name? Uh, name Head. Autumn. Autumn. Okay. She sounds nice. Tim... How many autumn leaves are you going to give this out of five? Now, bearing in mind, it's a 16-year-old beer. I'm going to give it... Based on what we have. Four. A four out of five. So four, like, all the same color, because we're not going to yeah. talk about what Trevor was saying. I'll be honest. Did that's a fucking up, phenomenal beer. beer. I'll, be on, I'll be honest. I actually really enjoyed that beer. All right. Trevor? Um, can many, we go to Matthew? I have a mouthful. Okay, Matthew, here. how many um, autumn leaves out of five are you giving this one? 3.7. Oh, that's very specific. Brandon, how many autumn leaves are you giving this one? Uh, I'm at a four two. A four as well. Two? Okay. Four, four as well. Oh, you're saying four two. Um meat? Okay, Trevor's still eating meat. I'm gonna go with uh yeah, I'm gonna go three eight. I think three eight, so maybe three nine, leaning leaning on that. Like it's especially for a sixteen year old beer, I'm I'm really impressed with how it turned like the sweetness of it. There is that little bit of like it was said like dusty maybe a little oxidation on the back end but not enough where it's like you crack it open and drink and you're like well ugh, i'm not gonna finish this is garbage yeah trevor now that you have sucked down all that meat okay. do you need some balls that's weird no i'm guessing trevor, <laughs> trevor has sucked down a lot of meat okay, so. okay. True. Well, it is true let's all chill out um, are we gonna bring up 9 11 and slaves again guys <laughs> in this one after the final four okay listen all i was talking about was the uh, anyway these guys work for budweiser 
you guys are embarrassing me now. I was just saying that America's past. Tony, you're fired. Right. Um, <laughs> Uh, I only threw it out there because I want to tag their actual <laughs> brewery. I appreciate that. Uh, so uh, that that final beer was really nice. I like the caramely notes. I like the reductive notes. I do think that that pepperiness is a little bit uh, concerning. If you were to give it to me in a blind, I'd say three. If you're giving it to me knowing how long it's been aged, I'd say like yeah, three five, three six, something like that. But definitely not highs. No. Yeah. No. It's it's <clears throat> for what it is. <coughs> Okay, you good? Mm-hmm. Did, is, what, what, there was what, meat stuck in my throat. Let's what, make a sexual joke. We're not doing that. <laughs> what meat were you eating? What kind of meat was that this um, time? Honestly, this was the most aggressive one. Uh, this is the lamb, which is concerning. Ooh. I'm going to do that. Yeah, get into it. Yeah, let me get into this lamb. Um, I, will, I will say, yeah, like it, it is impressive for a 16-year-old beer. Like that, That's what we're doing, mm-hmm. uh, and that's how it's turning out. So this is now the beer. oldest beer we've had on the podcast. I can fucking really? smell this yeah. coming from the goddamn package. Holy yeah. shit. The beer or the lamb? The lamb. <laughs> um, or Tim. Hey. This is my least favorite of the jerkies we've that's had. That's his beer. I agree. Not terrible. Heavy on the time. Yeah. Do you need that much time on this one? Good. I didn't tell you to eat them. You just opened them. I think you left them on the bar. No, no. I mean, they were there for you to eat. I didn't tell you which ones to eat, though. Now it's time for some Ritz. You guys, thank you so much for joining us, especially after doing the whole campus episode. Um, Let's not ever play this episode. Brandon, I love you. (laughs) (laughs) That's right, Scooby. We're back at 10. (laughs) Now we're playing the goddamn multiverse. You guys, thanks for joining us. This way. The multiverse? Okay. The multi. Oh, the multiverse! Bye. Christ, I. Why would you guys don't have to do this ever? Another episode like this. this This has been The Malting Hour. Be sure to follow us on all social media by searching The Malting Hour and at themaltinghour.com. You can also follow us individually on social media. Brandon can be found on Instagram as bmdub81, on Twitter, bdub81, and on untapped as bdubdrinksbeer. Tony can be found on Instagram and untapped under Ace of Help Chicago, on Twitter, the Ace of Help Chicago. Clark can be found as Clarkowski on all three. Dan can be found on Instagram as hip underscore underscore hops and hip hops on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe, like, and rate the show on your preferred podcast listening platform. Until next time, cheers from all of us at the Malting Hour.